We know many country towns are struggling, but what they might lack in facilities, they more than make up for with community spirit. Here's one showing plenty of that as they rally together to save their town's heart and soul. Down on the corner, toes are tapping as this talented country community sings from the same songbook. This tuneful turnout taking place in front of the Guildford General Store, an institution locals trumpet about. It's the place where everybody comes to meet, it's the place where everyone comes to get their news, it's the place where everybody comes to look after each other, and that's what it's all about here. But things have hit a sour note in Guildford, with the general store closing three months ago, and with it, an important place of connection. So the Guildford General Store was the, when I first moved here, was where I met everyone. It's a huge financial loss, as well as a social loss for everyone in Guildford. Liz Monty moved to Guildford seven years ago. The town of 330 is a hidden treasure in Victoria's Goldfields region. And with the exception of the pub and the post office, the general store was the central business in town, which is why Liz is knocking on doors to save it with a plan to restart the shop as a community cooperative. And the Guildford Co-op will buy the building and uh, run the general store as, as a community-owned uh, business. So we're asking for shareholders to um, uh, invest in the shop. How would someone become a shareholder in a potential Guildford General Store Co-op? We're trying to raise a million dollars and that's a lot for a very small community and um, so the shares are, the minimum buy-in is $5,000. We um, are up to 115 people that are interested in, in buying a share, so we still need some more. From there, there'll be a board of directors. That board of directors will hire a manager for the shop and that's how it will run. Community groups are revving up to the idea, including the Guildford Grumpies, a men's support and car club. We've got roughly 150 social members and car club members. Um, and it's more, a, you know, to give blokes somewhere to go. We have a... Greg founded the Grumpies and rolled out his 1928 A model Ford Roadster pickup in support of the co op. Are we a bit grumpy that the general store's not open? Oh, I think definitely everyone in town's definitely grumpy about that. It's, it's, a meeting, it's another meeting place. You know, it's a daytime stop for all the boys when they want a cup of coffee. The plan is to turn it into a co-op, which would right. see locals pitch in for a share. Yep. Would you buy a share in the general store? Um, I have already put in for a share in the store, yes. The store was last purchased in 2021 by a property group with service station interests. But more than its financial value, the general store is a piece of living history. It first traded on this street in 1861, before fire moved the business to its current site in 1916, where it was run by relatives of Bob Ford. Is the general store an important feature? Oh, definitely. It's the heart and soul. We need to save this general store because it is such a, an integral part of the uh, social network of Guildford. Much of the signage outside carries the bygone branding of yesteryear and some slogans from a different time altogether. I'm a bit of a history buff and this is a big part of the history so it'd be good to stay in the town and keep it here. Inside, the unique country charm hangs from the walls and it almost looks ready to trade again. It's as clear as a bell. This community want their general store back. Their goal is to get 200 people to take out shares in the co-op proposal and have the registers ringing again. So please come and check out our website. We've got all the information there about uh, the shares. Please consider supporting our community. We would love to have anyone involved. And as the band wind up their tribute to Credence Clearwater Revival, Guildford hangs out hope for another revival down on this corner. Thank you.